Welcome to the ASVIC TV coverage of the 2015 Australian 50km Walk Championships held at Faulkner Park. A strong international flavour was present as they flew in from all corners of the globe. Well, OK, not really. But across the 50k and invitational events, there were visiting athletes from Canada, New Zealand, South Africa and Japan, providing plenty of competition for the local and interstate athletes. Ben Thorne from Canada went out to an early lead. Back in the main pack, wearing bib number 91, was the favourite for the Australian Championship, Chris Erickson of Athletics Essendon. He was keen to lock up his place on the Rio team with a win. While Thorne moved further ahead, his fellow countryman Evan Dunphy was the one to move away from the safety of the main pack. With Ericsson was Brendan Reading from the ACT, number 97, Anaki Gomez of Canada, number 92, Ian Racing from New South Wales, wearing number 96, and Mark Mundell, number 95, the South African record holder. At 10 kilometres in 43 minutes 17, Thorne had to take a pit stop, which allowed Dunphy to take the lead. Dunphy passed through the same mark in 45 minutes 31. That was a slightly faster lap. He's gone from an 8.52 to 8.58 to an 8.53. The main pack passed through in 47.34, about two minutes behind Dunphy. Brendan Reedy was starting to lose contact. There were two first-timers for the 50k. Enaki Gomez of Canada with an impressive 20km PB of 80 minutes 18. The other was Essendon athlete Danny Hawksworth. His aim was to beat the five hour time limit for the event. Dunphy continued to increase his lead. Passing 20 kilometres in 90 minutes and two seconds, he was on pace for a big PB and to smash the Canadian record which had stood for 34 years. Although absent this year, Jared Tallent rates this as his favourite course. And with a reputation for fast times, nothing different was expected in 2015. Settled in nicely in that little group. Ian's still chasing them about five or ten metres away. As the race moved into the second half, Rayson was next to drop off the pack. Now down to Ericsson, Gomez and the big South African, Mark Bundell. As the race hit 30 kilometres, Ericsson lifted the pace. Next to go was Gomez. At 40 kilometres, Dunphy's lead was now out to seven minutes. Ericsson was a clear second, while Mundell was holding Rayson at bay. Hitting the bell, Dunphy appeared completely untroubled, with only two kilometres to go. He had lapped the entire field except for Ericsson. Mundell had consolidated third ahead of Rayson, while Brendan Reading was storming home, recording low nine minute laps for the two kilometre course. Dunphy went on to lap Ericsson as well as he cruised home for the Canadian record and an Olympic qualifier. Absolute, giving a high five. Time, 3, 43, 43. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that's six minute PB. Uh, three and a half minute national record. So, I'll take it. It's great, uh, last month in Australia here, I've uh, I've been training at the Supernova study down in uh, in Canberra. So I've been in really good shape, gotten into great form. So I knew I was ready for a big one. Wasn't sure whether or not I was gonna target a fast race here. So didn't really make my decision until about uh, 3K into the race that I was actually gonna go for it. So it's always interesting when you make your race decision the in you know the beginning of the race. But uh, I'm really happy with it, I felt really good. Uh, I think there's a bit more in the tank there when it push comes to shove. So taken, 14 minutes off my PB this year. Uh, so another 14 minutes and uh, <laughs> we're good. After Ericsson and Mundell, there was a battle for the third Australian as Reading was gaining rapidly on Racer. And approaching 49 kilometers, Reading moved past a tiring Racer. 
Ericsson got home for the Australian title, with Mundell close behind to break his own South African and African continental record. Brendan Reading was next to take nearly 25 minutes off his PB. Ian Rayson also walked a PB by over two and a half minutes. Yeah, Tom was just over 3.54, so uh, yeah, I'm reasonably happy with that. Uh, I think I was about 3.56 here last year, so um, um, yeah, it's good to be you know a little bit quicker than what I was um, last year, but I mean, the, the, today was more about um, being first Aussie across the line and uh, ticking off the... Um, uh, auto, uh, yeah, being an automatic qualifier for Rio next year. So, um, yeah, really happy to cross the line knowing that I've punched my ticket for Rio and um, can get away and start preparing for that. Third Olympics has a wonderful ring about it. Yeah, pretty nice to be able to call myself a triple Olympian. Um, but, uh, yeah, for me, I think it's a little bit of... Um, uh, almost, you know, almost like going to my first Olympics again. I finally get a crack at 50k. Um, having, you know, the last my first two Olympics, I've had qualifiers with 50k, but just has been our quality of the event that I haven't been able to crack the team. But um, I've always, you know, still got on myself for the 20k. But um, yeah, finally get my chance at 50k. So I'm um, really happy with that. But uh, you know, now with a bit of luck, I'll try to get myself on the 20k and give myself a, a chance to potentially double. Yeah, Tim, really delighted to come out here and walk away with a national record and continental record. Didn't expect it coming into, um, into this race based on the limited amount of training. So probably the most unpre unprepared I've been for a 50k and then ironically the best race of my life. So yeah, really delighted and hopefully it will encourage more walkers back home to take up the sport. So today was all about just hurry up and wait and wait until about 45k's this as far as possible so very different mindset coming into it um, really just wanted to to walk a tactically astute race and to make sure I got my hydration right so building up to Rio this was the first of the the races to get that right Inaki Gomez finished his first 50 kilometers in four hours four minutes and 12 seconds while Danny Hawksworth made the time limit by just 90 seconds, 4 hours, 58 and 30. Stay tuned to Asphic TV for more athletic action.